The Boys in the Bar is both one of the best and one of the worst episodes of Cheers. This is the 16th episode of the first season directed by the brilliant James Burroughs. And what I will say is, even though it has such an amazingly strong, powerful message about gay rights and Diane in particular champions that message, it still would not be produced like this today. It is definitely a product of its time and even though it's trying to make fun of people who make fun of gay people, and I'll explain more about that, I think it's still a little bit too extreme for today. And it's very difficult to watch and very uncomfortable and I don't like it, I don't enjoy it, but there are bits of the episode that are really great and work really well. Basically, it starts off with Sam allowing uh, an old sports friend to use Cheers for a book launch. And in this book launch, uh, in the book, he he comes out of the closet to use the phrase in the episode. And this makes the news. And suddenly, Norm and Cliff and the other boys in the bar start to worry that Cheers is going to become a gay bar, which apparently happened to a bar that Norm used to frequent before that became a gay bar. And they start to think about leaving Cheers. And then Diane points out that there are two gay men in the bar at that time. And of course, Norman Cliff and the others try to identify them. And then it gets pretty nasty. And I will say all throughout this, Diane is showing them how to behave, telling them the error of their ways, really highlighting the fact that you can't treat people like this. You can't say these things. The episode is 100% not anti-gay. The characters are saying some very anti-gay things, but every time they do, pretty much every time they do actually, Diane and occasionally Sam will come in and say, well, actually that's wrong. You can't say that, that's not correct. So it's constantly, reinforcing the fact that those thoughts and those beliefs and sometimes those actions are completely unacceptable, which makes it a great episode. But also because there are so many anti-gay thoughts, uh, and I'll give you an example of one of them in a moment, it's also one of the worst because it really is difficult to watch. An example, and I guess this is a tiny spoiler, but Cliff actually suggests that Sam just goes up to these gay men and asks them to leave. Now, that's illegal. I'm assuming this wasn't illegal when this episode aired in the 80s, but certainly nowadays you can't ask somebody to leave the premises just on the basis that they're gay. And when Cliff said that, it kind of made me feel a bit sick. And not just because it was, you know, Cliff, who I love as a character, but because this is... A representation of a lot of people's attitudes certainly at the time but unfortunately even today and it's again that makes the episode great because it's saying hey you're watching this you're feeling nauseous this is real this happens and the episode does a great job of highlighting this and rebutting everything constantly but again it's one of the worst because these attitudes are just despicable and to have characters we love Norm and Cliff and oh, Norm, I love Norm, and to have them having these attitudes is just, it's so difficult. And I will say what I do feel is that this episode does not affect my opinion on Cliff and Norm. I kind of don't view this as canon. I don't view this as part of the, the you know, the, the bulk of the brilliant Cheers episodes. Whatever Norman Cliff say in this episode, I choose to ignore. I choose to think it's not them, it never happened, and I can move on from it. But in reality, the fact is, people whom we love, people who have n no bad words to say about anybody, could still harbour these horrible, negative, spiteful, poisonous views. And that's, again, the episode does a really great job of highlighting that. But again, it's disgusting. I will say Diane was amazing. She also, has, she, there's a quote that she love that I love that she gave. And the quote is, and she says it to Sam, that's the noblest preposition you've ever dangled. I absolutely love it. It is such a brilliantly well-written episode because, as I said, pretty much every time a character says something anti-gay, Diane swoops in and says, that's why you're wrong or that's not acceptable, and it's brilliantly done, 
And the ending, the last kind of 10, 15 seconds, loved it. So I won't say any more than that. But it is when I, you know, I've seen this episode before, of course, and I'm re reviewing these chronologically. And when I reached this and realized this was the episode, I kind of didn't want to watch it because I have seen it before and I hated it. But I'm glad that I've watched it again and could watch it with a more analytical approach because I was able to see just how brilliant the episode it is, is, is it doing the things that I've mentioned. But it still didn't mean it was an easy watch. It's still very difficult. And it's it's powerful. It's moving. It had a message to deliver. And I think it did it well. But the journey, in a very effective way, is really uncomfortable. 